Hey guys, so today is laundry day. Um, I have a pretty standard routine that I always go through every week. I, I do my laundry one day a week, finishing it all. Um, I'm not exactly somebody who likes to do it, you know, a couple of loads a day or even one load a day. That um, That's just frustrating to me. I know that it works for some people. Um, and if it does for you, then that's great. But for me, I just like to get it all done in one fell swoop. And the first thing that I do is start just gathering all of my dirty clothes from hampers and various points in the house. And I also strip my bed, which you can see me doing here, uh, because I do change my linens once weekly. So the part of my laundry routine that takes the longest is um, actually sorting. Now, um, I don't always sort super, super strictly. There are some days where I don't have a crazy amount of laundry and I just throw it all in together. Um, I do, however, like to keep lighter stuff together and darker stuff together um, simply because I find that when I do wash dark stuff with light stuff, the light stuff tends to look a little bit more dingy, particularly my whites. So I always like to separate those. Um, I also like to put um, anything delicate, particularly my bras, into lingerie bags. I'll put my shower flowers in lingerie bags, so that takes a little bit of time to sort those out. And then whenever I need to wash my dish towels, which on average is about once a month, I go through them all. Um, I always make sure that I have a load of white clothes that I wash beforehand so that it bleaches my, my washing machine. And as far as my folding routine, I always fold my clothes on my bed. As soon as I strip my bed and throw my first load of laundry into the washing machine, what I like to do is come in, make my bed with its fresh sheets, uh, make sure that it's a nice flat surface, and then I have a trunk that sits at the foot of my bed. I pull that close to one corner and um, I also grab a smaller laundry basket. Um, and what I do is I take my large laundry basket that I put my dry clothes in after I pull them out of the dryer, I put it on top of the trunk and that's what I pull, that's how I pull out the clothes. They're kind of a little bit higher level. I don't have to be bending so much uh, to fold. And then I separate um, clothes that need to be hung on my little armchair that I have behind me. And then in the smaller basket, what I like to do is throw in my socks, my kids' socks, all of our socks, I pull it out as I go because they socks are so small, especially with my younger kids. Um, it's easy for them to kind of get mixed up in between loads. So I find it easiest just to save folding socks for last. So any socks that I find, what I like to do is I throw into the basket and that way when I'm done with laundry, pretty much everything with very few exceptions is all in there and I can pair them up a lot easier. I'm not waiting for another sock to come out. I'm not trying to find one sock's mate. It just makes it a lot easier for me.
Now, when it comes time for me to wash my dish towels, I always make sure that it's the last load that I do. Um, and I always make sure that I have a load of white clothes go in beforehand because I bleach my white clothes. And I use hot water on my white clothes just to make sure that they're extra clean and it sanitizes my, um, my washing machine, the bleach does, um, which makes me feel better because, you know, my dish towels that I used to dry my plates with are going into the same washing machine that washes my kids' socks and undies. So I just feel like it's a little bit, a little bit more sanitary for me. Um, and it just, you know, makes it a little less germy, I think. So I, as I've, I've mentioned in previous videos, I'm very particular about how I wash my dish towels. I bleach my dish towels as well, and I always use my sanitized setting. It takes a little bit longer. The cycle is about an hour and a half completely, but I wanna make sure that my dish towels are really, really clean. If I've used, you know, a dish towel to wipe up raw chicken that's spilled or any type of raw meat, if I've used it to you know, clean up a spill, what have you. I want to make sure the next time that I use that that towel, that it's extremely clean. Because as I said, sometimes I use it to dry my to dry my dishes or wipe down my counters, and I want to make sure that everything is as clean as possible. Okay guys, well that's it for now. I hope you guys got some laundry motivation and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.